here in Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. The first phase of Sowa Sun's 640 million rand refurbishment and expansion of the Gold Reef City complex is nearing completion. Megan van Weingard has the story. Construction, which started a year ago, saw the rejuvenation of the casino with new carpeting, upgraded lighting and decor, and additional slot machines, a new privé section and family-friendly additions. The original genesis of this was we needed to make the casino bigger um, and we, we got additional casino positions and we wanted to change the nature of, of the casino offering to be far more family entertainment, a far more integrated entertainment complex. Soho Sun had spent about 300 million rand to date with Van Arlok pointing out that the development was still within budget and on time. Pretty much on time and on budget. Uh, the scope has changed as we've gone along. The nature of these type of complexes is as you start, you start getting new ideas when you go along and that generally messes up your budget completely. But we're pretty much where we want it to be. Uh, the challenge in this project in particular was keeping it within the Gold Reef City theme. So, so we didn't want to introduce anything that, that moved away from what is a historical mining town look and feel. Uh, and that, that was actually the fun part of the project too. Everything from your, your public toilets through to your theming of your, your cinema right through to the casino floor, changing how we do the, the look and feel of the canopies over the tables. You know, that's all got to physically work. It's got to host your cameras, uh, your surveillance equipment, etc. But it's also got to fit within a Victorian look and feel. Uh, and that's been great fun. The second phase of construction would see Tsoko San changing the nature of the Gold Reef City theme park. What we want to do is move away from, um, I think in simply terms, sort of pay on entry to see the theme park. Generally make the theme park free and make the rides something that you pay for. We're going to introduce additional rides. Uh, we're going to renovate a lot of the museum section of it, where it's, whether it be retail and so on, that, that brings through that old Johannesburg mining town feel. We have moved the mine up from level five to level two because of the rising uh, mine water issues. So that's been rescued, if you like, so that we still have the underground mine experience, which is quite a unique offering in, in South Africa. And then lastly, we're also doing an expansion on the Apartheid Museum. The Apartheid Museum one of those, become one of those cultural icons in South Africa. It's one of the most visited uh, attractions in, in the country. Uh, and we've put another 30 million into there to give it a permanent Mandela exhibition that's been touring so far. Uh, and between the, the Apartheid Museum and the theme park, it's gonna be uh, probably the strongest tourist attraction in, in Johannesburg. Other news making headlines this week, South African Airways and Samsung launch an in-flight entertainment partnership. And Zendai is set to break ground on its first residential development. National carrier South African Airways and technology giant Samsung Electronics South Africa have partnered to launch new in-flight entertainment for business class passengers on its regional flights of less than four hours. We're launching an extra added feature to our business class passengers that are on our regional routes um, that are under four hours. So those are passengers that would normally fly with a narrow body aircraft um, that would in, in the past just only have one overhead screen um, and with this it's an entertainment um, platform that people can personalize to their own needs. Um, it's movies, it's print, it's magazines, it's kids programming as well and so um, there is an opportunity to sort of pick what you'd want along with your meal. Hong Kong listed Shanghai Zendai is set to break ground on its first luxury residential development in South Africa as part of its wider long term 25 to 40 year plans to transform its expansive modern frontine based property into a 22 square kilometer mixed use city in proximity to the Oratambo International Airport. We are starting the development. So, in the past 12 months, we've invested over 400 million Rand uh, in roads, uh, electrical infrastructure and water and uh, sewerage infrastructure. There's a hospital under construction uh, immediately adjacent uh, Linbro Park, and that's at an advanced stage of completion. That's a 200-bed hospital. We are also engaged in detailed precinct planning, which is part of uh, approval of our urban uh, development framework. This is a 25 to 40-year development and will happen progressively over that period. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.